In today's video, I'm sharing seven healthy hacks that are super quick and unique, and I bet some of them you've never heard of before. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and in today's video I'm gonna be sharing some new healthy hacks that I seriously think you need to try Some of them are so unique. I don't think you've tried them before I've rounded them up and I'm sharing them in today's video Actually one of them is in my water and it's not what you think. It's really fun So I just wanted to give a huge shout out to NRX for sponsoring and collaborating with me on today's video I've worked with them before and I've been using their products for a while now. I love their green powder in the mixed berries flavor. Their powders are such high quality. I love them. They taste delicious and they don't have that like gritty texture that you sometimes get from greens powders. And I will talk more about them in the video as well as some other products that you should try out from their line. Like I said, they just have really high quality products. And when it comes to supplementing and vitamins, I always want to get the best quality possible. So I'm really excited. Um, before we hop in, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Click that red button down below. Give it a thumbs up if you're excited and let's hop right into the video. Hack number one is actually freezing sliced citrus fruit. This is actually a fun hack I discovered while grocery shopping in the frozen section at my grocery store. And I saw that you can actually buy already sliced frozen citrus fruit, but I thought why not make it at home? It's cheaper and you can play around and add really whatever citrus fruit that you like. Just make sure to wash and dry your fruit. I'm doing a mixture of oranges, lemons, and limes. And then using a sharp knife, you just want to slice them into round discs. Oh, and don't waste those ends because another fun hack is just throwing them into a pitcher of water, storing it in the fridge, and you're going to have citrus infused water to enjoy all day long. I actually shared this hack in one of my no waste kitchen hacks video, which I'll link down below. Then just transfer the sliced citrus fruits over to a baking tray so we can just freeze them individually so they don't just all clump together in the freezer. Pop them into the freezer to freeze fully for a couple of hours and then when they're done you can just go ahead and transfer them to a storage bag or container. I love these silicone reusable ones but you can use whatever you like. And then they are ready to go. Just pop them into your glasses with some fun straws and fill it up with water or whatever drink of choice sparkling water, pomegranate juice, whatever you like. And these are so refreshing. Not only does it help keep your drinks cool, but it also infuses that delicious, fresh citrus flavor. Okay, so this next one, I cannot get over. I'm mind blown. It works so good. I'm gonna show you how to make guacamole using frozen avocado. Yes, frozen avocado. No more waiting for avocados to be the perfect ripeness to make some guac. The only planning you need to do is set your frozen avocado aside at room temperature to thaw. I like to just squeeze some fresh lime juice on top just to prevent it from browning. And this is perfect because if you're having guests over or prepping dinner, you can just have that thawing while you're getting other things ready to go. For my guac, I'm just chopping up some red onion, fresh cilantro. The best thing about guacamole is you can really just make it your own and add in whatever toppings that you like. Okay, so now that our avocado chunks have been sitting and thawing, I'm just gonna transfer it into a larger bowl, add in my onion, cilantro. Leave me a comment down below if you're team cilantro. I love it. Now I broke my garlic mincer. I know I finally got one and it didn't last very long. I have to get a new one. So I'm just grating in some garlic. A good pinch of sea salt, sprinkle of cumin, black pepper, and just a little bit more lime juice. I like my guac extra tangy. Okay, now comes the fun part. You're just gonna grab a fork or a potato masher and you're just gonna mash up the avocado with all of the fixings. I'm gonna have a full blog post linked down below with all of the exact measurements and stuff for everything I'm sharing in today's video. Grab your chips or crackers and dig in. The moment of truth. Oh. 
Wow. It's like guacamole. Can't tell. Mm. You need to make this so good. My next hack is a really fun one as well. We are making instant green juice. Yes, you heard me right. Green juice in an instant. No equipment needed. It's the easiest thing, but it really packs a lot of flavor and nutrients. And it's been a great go-to during my pregnancy to get in those greens without all the hassle of actually making green juice. First thing I'm gonna do is grate my ginger. I've shared this hack before. This is how you make instant ginger juice. You're just gonna grab a knob of ginger, grate it using like a fine grater, and then just gather it together and using your fingers, squeeze out the juice from the pulp. I love this hack even for my tea or just straight up ginger water. It's a really great little hack to have on hand. Next up, we're gonna throw in some fresh lemon juice. I'm just using my citrus juicer. It makes it really easy to squeeze out all of the juice from your lemons. And then for the start ingredient in this juice, I'm using NRX's greens powder in the mixed berry flavor. When it comes to greens powders, it's important to look for quality of ingredients and most importantly, taste. Because if it doesn't taste good, you ain't gonna drink it. <laughs> NRX is different than other ones I've tried in the past because it doesn't have that gritty texture so you don't feel like you're just drinking grass, if you know what I mean. Their greens powders are actually juiced and then dehydrated. So it's super rich in live enzymes, essential probiotics, plus it's easy to absorb therefore a minimal digestion is required and right now I'm pregnant and I need all the help with digestion that I can get this has been a great go-to so I can get my greens in in just an easy convenient and delicious way now my favorite product is their greens powder but they actually have a whole line of supplements some of them that I've been recently introduced to like their reishi defense which has vitamin C and D which is great for stress and immune support their osteo calcium and magnesium supplement which helps maintain bone strength and density and then the other one I want to mention is their Digest Best, which is a blend of digestive enzymes to help break down and digest food. This is also great to help combat pregnancy indigestion, which I've been getting a lot of fun times. <laughs> Okay, so this is another fun one, instant almond milk. Or you just don't know what to do with that extra pulp and you don't have a nut milk bag. This is the hack for you. So all you're gonna need is a blender, some creamy almond butter. I like to get the roasted kind with no added oils or sugars. I'm also gonna add in one to two medjool dates to help sweeten it. Not only does it help add some sweetness, but it's also gonna give a really nice frothy, creamy texture. A pinch of sea salt, vanilla extract, fill it up with some water and you're ready to blend. You wanna blend this on high until everything is super creamy smooth. I like to use a high speed blender, um, but you can use any blender that you like and this is what it looks like when it's done. You can pour it straight from the blender to your jar. You can drink this right away, add it to your smoothies, add it to your morning coffee. It's delicious. It has that creamy nutty flavor. And like I said, it's instant almond milk, no squeezing pulp through a nut milk bag. It's that easy. Next up we have what I like to call my snack plates. This is a great meal replacement. I love just to throw together a plate or a platter with a mixture of protein, carbs, fats, etc., on a plate. I love this hack and I think it's a good go-to because you can really play around with it, have fun. And I just, I love snacks and variety of foods when it comes to my meals. So this is right up my alley. I'll just have one ready to go and we can just snack on it as we pass by or sit down and have a little meal outside on the patio. So for today's snack plate, I have some strawberries, pistachios, which I've been loving right now, hummus, olives, sliced up cucumber, crunchy apple. I'm also switching up the peanut butter today for some almond butter since I had some leftover from the milk I made. And then I just have some flaxseed crackers, smoked cheese, and you have a delicious, super quick to prep meal that is full of flavor and nutrients and it's just really fun to eat. Honestly, I would not be mad if all my meals looked like this. Next up, we have a DIY super seed mix. This is really fun to kind of prep ahead, have in your fridge ready to go to top on your oatmeal, smoothies, yogurt bowls, um, really whatever you want, just to add an extra boost of fiber, protein, and nutrients. So in a little food processor, you can also use a coffee grinder. I'm adding in a mixture of some seeds. I have sesame seeds, hemp hearts, golden flax seed, and chia seeds. 
Give it a blend until everything is well grinded and it's just a nice even mill. And then for storage, I just transfer it to a container. I pop it in the fridge so it stays nice and fresh and I can have it ready to go to add on to anything I'd like. So I'm just making some coconut yogurt bowls here. Adding on some granola and then boosting it with my super seed mix. This is just a much more convenient way to add on your favorite nuts and seeds and you can play around and do whatever combinations you like and it's delicious and a great breakfast or snack option. Next hack may seem like an obvious one, but honestly, it's something I do all the time and I really feel like it saves me because I have a sweet tooth and I love baked goods. So something I've done a lot during my pregnancy, but also just something I've kind of grown up around is having fresh baked goods at home and just making really whatever it is you're craving, whether that be cake, donuts, cookies, you name it. You can make healthier options at home using wholesome ingredients natural sweeteners, no fillers or weird ingredients that you don't wanna be putting into your body. And it's one thing to go and treat yourself or just have you know something that you're craving one day, um, but it's another to fill your home with that stuff. So I prefer to once a week or every other week, bake up something that I'm craving, like this week was lemon blueberry loaf, and just enjoy it throughout the week. I'm using wholesome ingredients like almond flour, maple syrup for sweetness, organic free run eggs, and this is something I feel really good about putting into my body, but still having a really nice afternoon treat to have on hand. Okay, I got my blueberries from Blueberry Picking. Do you wanna hear the most satisfying thing? They're like little marbles, right? Anyways, okay, we're gonna add blueberries. This particular recipe I'm still playing around with and testing, um, but I do have a really delicious lemon blueberry muffin recipe in the Health Nut Cookbook, as well as the coconut butter icing that I'm topping on top of this is in the cookbook as well. I'll link that down below. They're delicious and you can bake them into muffins or a loaf. And I'm actually using my blueberries that Matt and I picked from the blueberry farm we went to. This is by far my favorite icing recipe. I'm always shocked that there's no icing sugar in it. It's totally refined sugar free. It's delicious. You get the nutrients from the healthy fats in the coconut butter. And it is just like the best icing. I put this on everything and it's just so good. You need to make this. It's like five ingredients. It takes two seconds and you could just eat it out of the bowl with some fruit and that would be delicious too. Now this is a cookbook exclusive recipe, but I will add it to the blog post for you guys to make at home. It's so good, I know you'll love it. There you have it, seven new healthy hacks for you guys to try out at home. Leave me a comment down below, letting me know which one you are most excited to try or just like most mind blown. I feel like the frozen avocado turned into guacamole was definitely one of my favorites and I promise it tastes good. No one will know it's made from frozen avocado. You never need to worry about picking the perfect ripe avocado again. Also, a huge thank you again to NRX for sponsoring this video. I will have links down below for you guys to shop their entire line. I love supporting Canadian brands that are helping just to provide nutrient dense products in a convenient and healthy, delicious way. So definitely check them out. And thank you so much for watching this video and supporting the Health Nut community. I can't wait to see you guys back here for my next video. Have a fabulous day and cheers to good health. Bye guys.